me and my partner Bubakar uh, got together a couple years ago and uh, we talked about a, uh, an indoor facility for the community um, here at Delcap. There's an awful lot of tennis players around in the area uh, that uh, really enjoy the sport and uh, the indoor facility here at Del Castle uh, is going to make that happen for all of us. So uh, there's you know some people that have really been instrumental in making this happen within the ten not only the tennis community but Newcastle County. Um, now I I'd like to thank uh, you know the Honorable Matthew Meyer, our county executive, for uh, you know making this uh, dream, this reality, this uh, plan that me and Bubakar put together uh, happen. Um, Count, uh, Councilman Tim Sheldon's also here today. Um, you know, he was very instrumental. He was part of this from the very beginning, this private-public partnership with Newcastle County uh, in developing this. Uh, we also have Senator Anthony Delcalo here with us today. Thank you, Thank you Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, the USTA, who's been uh, instrumental also uh, in uh, being part of this, uh, the, the tennis itself, uh, as everyone knows, the USTA is a nationally and uh, they, they've come and helped partner in bringing some youth into our uh, facility here um, so I, you'll, you'll hear from uh, Kelly Rosario shortly also from her um, Mr. Paul Fries from Newcastle County also who was uh, he's with Public Works he was also instrumental in getting this thing started uh, in this partnership and developing this facility and also Ms. Tracy uh, Slurs, who uh, is the uh, general manager uh, for Newcastle County. Um, most of all, uh, I'd like to thank all you guys. Um, since we started this, me and Bubakar, and you know, trying to get this thing together, not only in the construction end, but the tennis, there's a lot going on. We've had an overwhelming support from the tennis community that just reached out. and You'd get a phone call and say, hey, how can I help you kind of get this thing going? And uh, they've uh, they stepped up. Uh, they just people show up every day. Hey, can you do anything done? Uh, you know, Google Car, can I help you with this? And it's been great. We're almost there. I mean, we're open. People are playing. It's it's very exciting. So uh, again, thank you all the tennis community for uh, doing that. Um, Google Car, do you have? I just want to thank to re reiterate what he said. Just want to thank everybody for coming. This facility is not for me. It's not for him, it's for you. Yeah. You know, it's for you. So, <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can build a Taj Mahal, but if people don't want to go there, well, that Taj Mahal is just going to sit there. Right. So quite frankly, I mean, it's been a, a lot of people, like he said, a lot of people are involved in this project. So, but that being said, it's for you guys. So we build it so you can come and enjoy it. I would have said we want to have a facility in the county that can cater to the tennis players, the tennis community at large. Whether you live in PA, you live in Delaware, you live in New Jersey, if you're a tennis player or aspiring to be a tennis player, you come and see us and we'll make that dream happen. That's why this facility is built. So we welcome all of you to come in and have a good time Enjoy yourself, and if you don't want to come home, sleep here for all I can. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Play tennis. <laughs> we have everything for you, everything that you need. We have a conference room, we have a kitchenette, we have everything that you need. You want to throw a party? We're here for you. So thank you for coming, and I want to say again. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, for, my name is Matt Meyer, I'm the county executive. For those of you that know me, uh, I come to work every day clean shaven. Um, but uh, today is an exception. This facility was a long time in the making from the county's perspective, really 11, 12 years in the planning and thinking process. And I was uh, so excited for it. I planned 
for it as well by trying to do a little Andre Agassi look-alike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so that's that's the goal. The hair can be a little longer. I know maybe a little ponytail or something, but uh, just don't give me a tennis racket because if I go out there, I won't look a thing like him. Um, but it's really an honor uh, to be here, to be to, today, to be the county executive who happens to be standing here as this this long line of planning and doing is completed. I worked primarily in the private sector before I was elected two years ago, and, and a while back I had a boss who would say, any time you're on the telephone and the government is on the other end of the phone, you do everything you can to get off that phone as quickly as you can. <laughs> and I've uh, taken that lesson with me to government when I speak to many people outside of government that really they just want us to get out of the way. I happen to believe government can be more than that. We can provide amazing parks and we can collaborate with passionate individuals to actually do something affirmative to help people and to, to create opportunities for people. And it's important to note that this would have never happened. As I mentioned, this is a long time in the making and it never ever would have happened without the, the passionate uh, interest, the tremendous time commitment, and the financial commitment and financial risk that uh, both Ron and Bubakar were willing to take on. So would you give them please a rousing round of applause? Thank you. You, you have both done something that will be an asset for this community for generations and generations to come. It will hopefully long outlast all of us in this room. So thank you for that. We don't know, you know, I was, when you guys came to talk to me, I'm like, well, you know, tennis is cool. A lot of people play it. Are, are people actually going to come and play? The whole, all the plans you have are based on people actually coming here to play. It's nice to walk in here and I don't, you know, when I walked in, there wasn't an empty court. I guess a few people stopped playing to come up here and, and see, see what was going on up here. But it's a good sign that already uh, it's being it's being used in my guess based on what I'm hearing from the community is that very soon We're gonna have a problem that there's not enough space. We'll have to deal with that one But um, and, and that means another six in, uh, indoor court. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe build up, build up. Build up. Um, But uh, this is really a, a, a testament I want to make sure before I close I highlight several people from my team, Ron and Bubakar mentioned them, but I want to make sure you know the people in the county who never get the credit that they deserve for the hard work that they do so things like this can be possible. Bob Merrill was critical to this project. <laughs> uh, Paul Freeze as well, I'm back. Thank you. Paul. <laughs> Kendall Summers is somewhere here. Thank you, Kendall. Does a lot of hard work. And Tracy Searles, who's in charge of our division. So we don't listen. It's a building. I uh, a lot of my job I'm learning is is digging, moving dirt to break ground on buildings and cutting ribbons to open buildings. I think buildings matter, but more important than that is what happens in the buildings. And I know a lot of the people here are the ones who are going to make the exciting things happen here, who are going to teach kids who may be the next Andre Agassi, who may be the next Venus and Serena. It would have never happened without the vision of Bubakar and Ron, and thank you all for coming here today to, to be a part of this. Thank you. Jump in. No. <laughs> well, hi everyone. This is uh, this has been going on more than two years. <laughs> I've, I've been living it, and I've been for this project from day one. Day one. I actually know now what a public-private partnership is. You've always heard that from government, and it seems like the government gives more money than the private. So, uh, taxpayers always have a question what public-private is. I can tell you right now there was no money from taxpayers' dollars in Newcastle County that went into this project. The private part is being financed and so forth uh, through the company. And what we're doing is leasing the land, and actually, we're going to get paid. 
after the extended time. So we're going to make money off of this, not lose money. And I have to say that, uh, of course, people, some people don't want nothing built. So I've had to deal with that a little bit. But how can you not, this is a need here. A need. Actually, two other distinguished groups, um, JCC, the Jewish Commission, I'll say that one, Community Services, they want to build one, just like this. The, I actually, I, my aide, Mike's here, that said, you got to call this person back. And I just remembered coming in here, I didn't call her back. <laughs> so after this, maybe she'll see it on TV or something. She wants to know how this was done so they can do the same thing just through the land use process. So there's people that need this done because where can you go? I remember the University of Delaware, I got a phone call like four or five years ago. We, we have to go to Maryland, Elkton, Maryland, for their practice four or five years ago. I'm sure they practice now on Newark's property, but they didn't. They did not. So there is a need for this. And I'm so proud that you kept, both of these kept the, the go ahead to go to this, go this route and persevere and go through with it because this is going to be a great project when it's actually completed with the outdoor courts. And I have to say, I went to a, uh, I'm not going to say the name, I said something to Ron, I can't do that, I'll be sued. But it's a nice, nice institution, and I got to tell you, this is nicer than what they have. And it's been around for years. So I just have to say that, and I'm proud of you guys. I really am at the end. This is what makes Del Castle, which is in the heart of my district, it makes the county the apple of everybody's eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Del Palo? Sure. Can Absolutely. I see what I'm How are you? Ron and I go way back, and I'm really glad that he reminded me that this was happening. And I have to say, I have to express my pride at the uh, agility and, frankly, the swiftness that I saw my uh, cohorts in county government moving for something that's really just a net positive for our community. So I'm the senator for the 7th District. We're in the 7th District right now. And that goes all the way from here, curves down around Route 7, and encompasses all of Ellesmere and parts of Newport. So I grew up down the way in Marshland Heights. This is where I'm from. And I have to say that it's been an incredible honor to be a senator, but it's things like this that make me so proud to be a representative in this area, so, so proud to be able to serve because there are so many beautiful facets of community. And what people shouldn't forget, because there's a, a broader story that I want to briefly touch upon as to why this is so significant. What people shouldn't forget is that when we come together and we, we work as a team to give these beautiful amenities to folks in these areas, it's not just a net gain from the concept of there's a need and people will play tennis, but when you look at where employers are looking to go and where great labor forces that want to come and be part of a good community where, where these talented people are looking to locate. Having amenities like this one has become something that's extremely important. It's more than just what are your taxes like and whether or not you have good infrastructure, which used to be like the only two questions that these entities and individuals would ask. But it goes to a broader question of our quality of life and the things we have in our communities. And this is certainly going to be a shining example of something that is a wonderful thing. You know, tennis players and, and Wilmington lawyers like me have something in common. You know, we all consume stuff like gas and food and so on. And so when people come here and see this wonderful facility, they're going to be doing things for our local economy, and it's going to be a wonderful driver for this area. So I'm so excited to see all of you here. I'm so, so excited to have been asked to come here and to have been welcomed and to say, you know, hats off to you, hats off to Ron and, and your partner and to the county and all of you for just making a beautiful ribbon cutting today. And I really look forward to seeing what the future will hold for this great facility. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank all of you. I mean, it, it wouldn't have been possible again without this and the support from Newcastle County and then from everybody else. You know, it's funny, I'm just going to say a few more words. Um, it's funny because not only in Delaware, um, 
this club is recognized nationally now. Uh, me and Bubakar flew out to Oklahoma to see the Oklahoma Tennis Center, which is a major hub for the USTA. Six, uh, they have six brand new indoor facility, which is a private public partnership, 24 outdoor courts. We met with the head director. Um, we talked a little about their facility, what we were bringing to the table. I explained to them what we were going to have, an indoor facility, six courts, clear viewing mezzanine, training room, men's and women's locker room, two kitchenettes. They were amazed, and when I showed them the plans, uh, th they were just, wow, astonished. I, you guys have that in Delaware? So they have a state-of-the-art facility, and they have... It's a national award winning facility. So two weeks ago, I was telling Bubakar, I get a call from Oklahoma City seeing, saying that the director, they seen it out on Facebook. They were blown away. They said, oh my God, I can't believe that that's happening out there and you guys put that together. So it was really nice to know. And then also two people showed up from Virginia, uh, two investors who have 14 clubs throughout the country. They took a tour of the building and they were amazed at the state of the art facility. So it's great to know the little Delaware is recognized and, and here at Del Castle that it made it all happen. Um, so with that being said, uh, you know, thank, you, thank you all again. Um, I would like to thank uh, the USTA and I would like to bring up Kelly Rosario uh, for the USTA to uh, say a few words. They've been very instrumental. So this is the fun part of my job, when I get to give money away. <laughs> So congratulations to Ron and Bubakar. This has been a long time in coming, a, a true labor of love, and this is exactly the type of project that we would love to see the USTA, and Middle States just supports these type of things. So this comes from our USTA Middle States facility grant. The goal of the USTA Middle States is to grow tennis. And with beautiful facilities like this, we can continue to grow tennis forever in Delaware, introduce tennis to new players, grow the game among our, our college players, and also our league players, and anywhere, anyone in between. So congratulations, Ron. And Bubakar, this is a check for $10,000 from USD and Middle States. Thank you.